to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. What are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. And the shot! Goal! Well, the whole idea is to start as you mean to go on, and that sets their tone beautifully. Uh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Chance! Going through. Can he finish? And in it goes. And already they're looking to run away with it. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. He's had a shot! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter... Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. it upfield he's through the middle hits one that is a class save he had to be at his best all he'd be thinking is please ground swallow me up With his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. There could be trouble here. So now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket.
forward it goes. Sticks in a foot to win it back. The referee's awarded a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. Brings it forward. That's good intervention. Things could have got far worse than that. Oh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And it's half time here. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. It really has been an astonishing game, peppered with goals. You cannot help feeling that the second half will supply more. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. It's come loose. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. It's been lenient here, and I doubt he'll get too many more chances. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. made sure that that won't get through. Battles to win it back. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Normally around now that the managers think about making changes. Pushes it out wide. Cuts it out. Keeper's got good distance on that. Over to the left. Back into the middle. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Whistle's gone and the referee has given a penalty. And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. No second thought, a straight red card. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. We'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that feature, is he? I had a good feeling. They missed the penalty, but they have to find a guttiness themselves from here. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. He's had a go! Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Fine run, and he's happy to keep going. Has a swing at it! He scored! Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. So is this the start of a comeback? He's got options out wide. The final whistle. So they have their win. 
They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. How do you look back on the game, then, Jim?